Hey everyone, my name is Nathaniel and I'm from Beast Robotics. Thank you for joining me today and today we're going to talk about how to animate your name in Scratch. So go ahead like I just did and type scratch.mit.edu in the address bar. Alright, so now on the top right hand corner, please either create an account or log in. Please pause the video and I'll see you once you've done that. Alright, hopefully you're done, click on that create button and that will create for us a new project. Alright, so now that we're in a new project, first what we're going to do is we're going to move over here to this little scratch cat, we're going to delete it, and instead we're going to click that button there to add new sprite. So we're going to head over to the letters, and then if you take a look, there's a bunch of different fonts. It doesn't really matter what, whatever you do, just add letters of your name. So first, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to add another letter, and so on, until you, you finish adding all your name. Please pause the video and do that now. Alright, so take a look. I've added all my letters, but they look a bit weird. So we're going to attempt to fix that. So it's pretty simple by just dragging and dropping everything into the right order to make everything look nice. So personally, I did a shortened version of my name, Nate. So I'm going to drag everything so that everything is nice and even. Alright, perfect. Now we're going to start coding. So first we're going to and over to the yellow section and grab the when the green flag is clicked. That's usually how you start a program from scratch. So what happens when you start a program or when that flag is clicked? First, let's take a look at sound. So we're going, we don't want to play music because I'll play the whole music before doing anything else. I want to start playing the sound so the sound will continue to play or do other things. The default is just meow. If you want to change that, go ahead and do sound. And then let me quickly move myself there, click on that sound plus button and take a look at all the sounds you can do. So I'm just going to quickly add, say, a guitar. And then we're going to select a guitar now. Once we have a guitar selected, then we can also do things like change the pitch, or we can just darkly set the pitch. I'm personally going to use change pitch, uh, but you know, it's really, it really doesn't matter which one you use. Alright, so now we have sound covered, let's take a look at looks. So right now it looks pretty bland, right? Let's change the color a little bit. So we're going to drag, let's see, the change color, and we're going to change the color by X amount, or of course you can also just directly set the color to something. It doesn't really matter, I'm going to use change, change color, you can use that color for all I care. Alright, so we're going to have that to 25, and you can also do things like just change the size, or even directly set the size. Once again, I'm using change the size, you can do it wherever you want. So we're going to change the size by a factor of 10. Alright, so go ahead and mess around with that. Um, and then come back when you're ready. And now we're going to talk about motion. So now we're going to actually get the letters to move. So we're, we're going to use glide, so within one second it'll move to a random position. So see whenever we hit play, that T will change color to enlarge a little bit and it move to a random position. So this time whenever we hit play, it enlarges a bit larger and it move to another random position. You see, all the positions are definitely random. And also obviously with that last line, it's going to move back to where it originally was. Alright, so now if you notice we're only, we've only known T, we had to do that with the rest. So go ahead, pause the video and do that with the rest. Alright, so I've done what we've done with the T for the rest of them. So whenever I hit play, you can see that it works perfectly. So, yeah, it's pretty great. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I'm Nathaniel from Beast Robots. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments, which is right down below. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the second video.